the seed is the word of God and it is divine for the word of God is alive and active. Today's gospel, Jesus tells us about the parable of the sower. As I was reflecting on this parable, the verse which struck me was, Some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered for lack of moisture. Jesus compares the rock with those who hear the word of God with joy, but do not allow them to be rooted in their hearts. The seed is the word of God and it is divine. For the word of God is alive and active. Hebrews 4.12 Then why does it fail to take strong root in our hearts? It is because of the lack of depth in us. It is because our hearts are like a rock. You might have studied in your school about weathering of rock. Weathering of rock is the breaking down of the rock into soil because of weather, water, biological organisms, etc. Now this soil contains all the necessary nutrients required for the seed in order to sprout and grow into a tree, provided there is weathering of rock. Our rocky hearts should also undergo weathering of rock. And this is possible, one, when there is an effort from our side, by opening our hearts and life to the Word of God, by reading, studying and learning the Word of God like St. Thomas Aquinas. And this requires commitment, self-denial and sacrifice. Two, when we pray for one another, like St. Monica, who prayed for the conversion of her son, St. Augustine. 3. When the grace of God is upon us, like St. Paul, by the grace of God he was converted, and for him the gospel was the power of God. Romans 1.16 Our Lord Jesus Christ is always sowing his seed into our hearts. Therefore, let us not harden our hearts as a rock, but let our hearts undergo the weathering of rock, and thus the seed sown would grow into a tree and bear abundant fruits. Amen. <laughs>